Lava is entering the ocean south of Leilania States. Hawaiian Volcano Observatory says two lava flows from one fissure started entering the water near Mackenzie State Park overnight. People are advised to stay away, and the Coast Guard is only allowing permitted tour boats in the area. Also, officials say sulfur dioxide emission rates tripled downwind of the rift zone today. They're especially high in Kamaili, Seaview, and Malamaki. Also, some fissures in Leilania states reactivated overnight. As for seismic activity, HBO says there was a magnitude 4.9 earthquake just before noon today. And at the summit, HBO says there were two explosive eruptions of ash over the past day, plus several smaller ash emissions. More explosions are possible, they say, at any time. Good evening and thank you for joining us. The huge white plume created when lava enters the ocean poses a serious danger for anyone nearby. Howard Dashevsky has more on that and the lava that crossed the highway overnight. He joins us live in Howard. Hi, Kathy. Yes, good evening from the Big Island. We had a chance to see that plume up close and personal. We took a bit of a field trip today, courtesy of the National Guard. They took us to what is now the new end of the road of Highway 137. It's a place where just last night cars were driving in and out, but today it's a dead end. Lava piled some 20 feet high. So if the wind shifts and you start to see the plume heading back this direction, you know, it's time to down the mask and, and start moving back. That warning from Lieutenant Colonel Chuck Anthony from the Hawaii National Guard, actually a double-edged sword. The first concern, the toxic SO2, or sulfur dioxide gases, he's constantly measuring coming off the lava flow. But that's not all. But this thing does not measure hydrogen chloride. So if I just see something that just doesn't look right, key on me and we'll start moving back, okay? We were escorted down into this area by the National Guard a place that has become overrun by the lava and the fumes. It's also a landscape that is now constantly changing. That tree that you see up on top of the lava flow, that was not here the last time we were here just a couple of hours ago. So that tree was carried down here by the lava flow. Anthony says if you've ever sat next to a fireplace and watched it spit out hot embers, the same thing is happening here, only magnified by a thousand. So. If we get close, just be cognizant. You know, a hot cinder could come popping out, and you just don't want to be on the receiving end of that. National Guard officials tell us this lava flow right here covered Highway 137 sometime between midnight and 3 o'clock in the morning. As you look inside, you could still see the fire burning inside of it. Believe me, you could feel the heat coming off. And as we look up, the giant plumes of steam. That's where two separate fingers of lava are entering the ocean, a little more than 100 yards from where we're standing. And those steam clouds represent the newest reason for concern, something called lays, a mixture of dangerous gases along with small particles of glass-like material. Because of that, uh, uh, you know, the gaseous cloud or the vapor that's coming off the ocean, it's got uh, hydrogen chloride, uh, some other nasty stuff. You just don't want to be around it for too long. And that's why I'm kind of keeping one eye on that. When the lava hits the water, sometimes you can actually get uh, glass shards that are emitted and you know they fly uh, and could cause uh, some damage so again you don't want to be anywhere near the water while that uh, lava is flowing into it. People taking shelter here? Yes ma'am. How are you holding up? Oh pretty good. Yeah? Yeah I would like to go home. I but... know. Also today Hawaii U.S. Senator Maisie Hirono visiting the three Red Cross shelters. She said she returned home only for two days to attend the funeral of former Senator Daniel Lakaka but that it was too important not to come here as well. Describe what you've seen, uh, the images on TV, the families in these centers, and, and what Washington is prepared to do to help. Well, there are about 12 federal agencies now, either in communication or they have people on the ground here. But this is going to be a long-term process. We don't know when Madam Pele is going to stop uh, the fl lava flows. And the important thing, I think, for right now is that we need to meet the needs of the people who are in the shelters. They, uh, we can't tell them when they can go back to their homes, but to meet their needs as best as we can. And back to the lava flow, and yet another reason for concern, that ever-changing makeup of the landscape, even those sections that appear to be hardened and stable, 
are far from it. I mean, you've been down here three times already today. Each time you've come down here... It's changed. Yeah. It's changed each time. I mean, it's dynamic. The situation is different each time we come down here. Uh, you know, SO2 levels are different. You know, again, right now, it's absolutely normal. We don't have to have the gas mask on or anything like that. But the situ situation is uh, really quite volatile, and uh, you just have to be ready for anything. And for that reason, Anthony says anybody who comes down to this area, whether you're a resident or anybody else who somehow managed to get past the numerous police and National Guard checkpoints, is taking a very high risk. Nobody should be down this far. Uh, other than uh, officials or somebody who's being escorted by, you know, an official capacity. But uh, residents or anybody else, no, you should not be anywhere near this place. Pretty good advice because it is a pretty eerie place to be. And again, those fumes, some of them that are very harmful, you can't smell them, you can't see them coming your way. So you got to be very careful. Now that lays, that lava haze, again, hydrochloric acid mixed with particles of glass. You don't want to be anywhere near that stuff. That does it for now. We're going to continue to follow the very latest with this eruption. But for now, we send it back to you in Honolulu. McKenna, take it away. Got some time to come out and see us tomorrow morning. This trip will leave at 3:30. Limited seating, folks. But we'll feel up fast. Right here we got Sky demonstrating the water. How's the temperature? Oh man, beautiful. Oh yeah, that's toasty. Anybody else? Oh, hot water. <laughs> All part of the tour, folks. You guys come on out. You can see some lava. Touch it, feel it. Now on the way out here, we tried to shoot some pictures, but it was really tough just because of the dark and the distance, but our eyes can still pick that all up. And just past these flows, you see here, here's the North Pole Pines. And the Puna Coastline we all love, right there, McKenzie State Park. All right, I'm going to give you guys an update a little later. That's in and out. Boy.